Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome to this class here on Zoom. Thank you. We're gonna have Thursday, um, October twelfth, two thousand twenty-three, and we're gonna keep working on this thing that is called learning English. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you, thank you. Good evening. And I hope all of you are okay at home. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, oh, Jesus, here we go. Give me a minute so I can show you the presentation. We're gonna have our class number, number 12. Yeah, that's the one we're gonna work today. Okay, so um, thank you. Okay, this is, no, okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Uh, we're gonna finish section number four today. Modifiers with the with participles and prepositions. That's the thing we're gonna work on today's class. As you may know, it's class number 12. So thank you so much for being here. Um. Welcome, y'all. Yes, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. One more time. Don't forget that you need to present the exercise that you have on the platform. Yes, so just do those so you can be uh, um, so you finish all the exercises and be ready for your weekend. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, let's begin. We're going to have this information. Okay, let's describe first of all the picture. Um, Janessi, hello. Good evening, Janessi. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Good evening. Um, thank you. Do me a favor. Look at the picture here. Uh, describe the picture, please. Thank you. Uh, there is it's a door with many locks. Why do you think we have this love? This door like this, like, like this. Mm, well, the text next to the, the draw says it's North, North America. Um, well, <laughs> yeah. I think it's because it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Do, do you think we have <laughs> the same thing here in El Salvador? Do um, we have this, yes. like? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here in El Salvador, we have a bunch of trancas, right? That's the way they call it, right? Yeah, and <laughs> broken was... glasses in the in the wall. Oh yes, exactly. <laughs> That's the security. That's the security level that we have here in Salvador, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, and I think those were pro prohibited by the city hall. Sí, quedaron prohibidos esas cosas hasta hasta donde sea for the city hall. Y es poner mm. esas cosas and also um antes ponían unas un metal, right? Con unas puntas. Yes, like arrows. Mm -hmm. Y que están prohibidas hasta donde sea, right? Uh, yeah, I don't yes. know. Sí, no sé. Yeah, Pero how do you say, podría ser. How do you say tranca? Oh, tranca es tranca. <laughs> <laughs> De hierro. <laughs> uh, exactly. Okay, yeah, tranca is a tranca. Yeah, somehow here in El Salvador, uh, it was quite, uh, it's still dangerous, somehow, right? But, um, well, back in the days, it was it was heavier than now, yeah? So, uh, we're going to protect ourselves, right? Thank you. We're going to have this reading. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nice to have you. Do me a favor. Read the information that is in this light blue uh, triangle, please. Uh, the information del cuadrito. Yes, please. It's not a triangle. Okay. I think it's a rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please, Anna. Go ahead. Uh, okay. To protect their homes against crime, people in North America 
sometimes do one or more or the following. Keep their door locked, uh, leave light on when they go out, have a people hole or hole in the door to see goes outside, have an alarm system that make noise if someone tries to open a door or window. Buy a dog to guard their home. Oh, very good. Look at this, like, uh, things that people do in the United States when it comes to protect the houses or the places where they live, right? Um, okay. Do you, do we have a similar, I don't know, ideas, eh, Marcos, here in El Salvador? Do you think that we share somehow when it comes to uh, protect our house or our relatives or our, let's say, belongings do you think that we have we share similarities with people from the u.s um i don't know um, in this country uh, have a second door um, no sé cómo se llama la... <laughs> yeah they have a no. second door that's correct okay it's uh, no, i mean what about here in el salvador is do we have the same ideas like do we keep doors locked in el salvador marcos mm. do you no, understand I, the, the question i don't know <laughs> i mean like this information is from the us right Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm talking about El Salvador. Do you think we have the same ideas here in El Salvador when it comes to protect our homes? Oh, the dog, uh, guardian dog. Oh, okay. Here in El Salvador, we, we get a, a, a dog so we can... Uh, Many. So we can be safe. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of aguacateros, right? Yeah, <laughs> some bravos. Yeah, those yes, yeah. are. Yeah, they they bark a lot. Yeah, so those things are bravos. Yeah, in, angry in, animals. Yeah, very like scary animals. <laughs> a few uh, uh, system alarm, alarm system. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that is true. That is true as well. Here in El Salvador, there are some some. Well, I don't know. Maybe the people that got a bunch of money, right? Yeah. And right, right now, uh, I can see uh, use to cam system. Oh, yes, cameras. Exactly, that is correct. What about this one, Marcos? This one caught my attention. Do you see this one here? Live lights. <laughs> do you do that? Do you do this, uh, uh, Marcos, when you go out? <laughs> That's your security system. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, Marcos, do you do this when you go out? Yes, um, yes, um, uh, oh, not many people have to lights. Oh, okay. Use for, for, for security. Okay, thank you. Thank you so the much, Marcos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Claudia, what do you think about these ideas? I mean, do you do you leave do you leave lights on when when you go out? Yes, we do. We do that here. Um, because you know, um, uh, maybe the 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 other people mm -hmm. think uh, somebody's in the house. Exactly, exactly. And, yeah. and because the the dog, uh, we, we think the dog needs the lights too. Oh, okay, very good, <laughs> very good. Yes, that's right. So, so you you also have a dog, right? That protects, that yes, protects your I house. Have, oh, that's, I that's have right. a dog. Is an angry animal or a kind animal? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's curious because um, it's it's um, 
little pet. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's and, and, okay. and, and and if you see it, you think it's it, it's so friendly, but she's really oh. she gets angry hey. when somebody is is <laughs> near of the house. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. And then when they have these people from the city hall, right? People from yes. Alcaldía, yeah, and it's, excuse me, muerte es bravo el perro, le dicen. ¿Eh? Yes. <laughs> no, no, it's very small, right? And then it starts like, I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. Very good, yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so look at this. Here we have which types of neighborhoods have more crime in our country right we have these neighbors who are here do you see this ones here suburbs rural areas or cities yes this question is for you uh, let me see freddy thank you freddy which types of neighborhoods have more crime here in el salvador suburbs rural areas or cities what do you think um, I think uh, rural areas, cities, and suburbs, uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Sí. Thank you yes, so much. Sí. So rural areas are like uh, mm -hmm. the most dangerous areas, right? Yeah, you know, yes, yes. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Daniela. Hello, Daniela. Good evening. Are you here, Daniela? No, she isn't. Okay. What about Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado? Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much. Um, question for you. How do people protect their homes? Like here in El Salvador. How Salvadorian people protect their homes the people protects protects the their homes um the different form for example uh the door is a uh, big no small like a big and they have the the uh, the keep being in different, no sé cómo decir, oh, como formas, que no sea tan lisa la, la keep, la llave. Okay, very good. In the other, from the window and the homes, eh, tienen, they have the, no sé cómo, como las barreras de metal para que no puedan oh. quebradas. Okay, barriers. The broken, the window, uh -huh, okay. the barriers. Metal barriers. Uh, yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What about dogs? And... Monday? What about dogs? Dogs. <laughs> do, do, do Salvadorian people get dogs just to get protection at home? Mm. Uh, like... yeah, I... No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, no, because <laughs> I'm asking you just because um, I saw like in a few, I don't know, warehouse, in a few warehouse where people get dogs, like people, animals, right? <laughs> and they just kept those, uh, they just keep those dogs just to protect um, the warehouse. Uh, from dogs, from uh -huh. the different dogs oh yeah i mean the, the more popular the como the time the um, uh -huh, the dog is a big bull yeah yeah so yeah, th those yeah. animals are quite dangerous i don't know mm -hmm. if, if you at home you have a, a pit bull as a pet but for from my experience pit bulls are dangerous animal i guess yeah because that's those are the animals that i see in in warehouse yeah, en los, en los talleres, right? Mm -hmm. En los warehouse. En los talleres, uh, veo estos dogs that they used to, um, they use these animals just to protect the, the place. That's, that's what mm -hmm. they do. 
they, they don't pay a security the guy. For example, in the home, in the order, in the near in the beach, uh -huh. beach, yes, they have the dog. Exactly, that is correct. Yes. That that means it's a dangerous animal, so stay away of a pit bull, right? So, <laughs> yes. yeah, buy it for other lado because no, that's not good. <laughs> Yes, also if that animal is un aguacatero, uh, stay away. Váyase por otro lado because that animal is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Beleme. Esos aguacateros es like, están dormiditos así, y uno va calladito y de repente. Uh, yeah. <laughs> y, se, y se van. Like, yeah. Oh, pero, pero ahora be careful because so we have some laws, right? Tenemos algunas leyes y, y pues si usted denuncia, just. Be careful if you have animals, yeah, because... Yes, uh, the, 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 for example, maltrato. Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. right. Tanto creo que al probaron... animal o el animal es otra persona, ¿verdad? En este mm -hmm. caso. Exactly, dos... exactly. Mm -hmm. So just, just be careful. Be okay. careful because everything is getting difficult. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Thank Welcome. you, thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. We're going to have a little bit of the grammar part for today. So let's listen and watch. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Hello again. In Okay, so here we have the grammar part. We have particles, yes, and we have prepositions. What do we do? Estos modifican, right? That's what they do. Who's Diego? He's the man wearing a blue shirt. Which one is Diego? He's the one talking to Brooke. So we can use this ing form. Again, these are these are not verbs. No verbs, these are just adjectives. Yes, just to um, give more details about someone or something, okay? Okay, and also we have prepositions. She's the woman with long black hair. In jeans, the window, on the couch, right? Prepositions of place. Also, we can give these ones when it comes to uh, describe where is somebody. Yes, uh, when like when it comes to describe like one characteristics, what appearance you have from this person or people. If you notice here, we have the question who's or which. Yeah, when well, we don't have a lot of options. Yep. Um, any question about this? Janessi, everything is clear? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. No problem, okay? So modifiers with present participles and prepositions. Bueno, los participles son estos que están acá. Yes? With ing. ¿Para qué nos sirven esto? Well, to communicate. Right, who's the man? Oh, sorry, he's the man wearing a blue skirt. Si usted lo traduce literal, right, pues va a decir, oh, sí, 
vistiendo, puede decir usted. But that is incorrect, right? That is incorrect. This is not present continuous. This is just an adjective. Yes, an adjective that goes related to the person. Yes, right? So you can say, oh, my brother is the one talking on the phone. Yes, my brother is the one eating pupusas next to Carlos. Yes, my sister is that girl, I don't know, playing soccer with Antonio. Yes, so we are going to use ing y algunos verbos, right, with ing to communicate or to give more details about somebody or someone in a context, right? If the question goes, hey, who's, who's Diego? Oh, who's Maria? Oh, is the Maria, oh, Maria is the girl drinking water. Yes, right? Yes, so you see drinking, yeah, is the one that I use to give more details about this person, right? Usually we have this expression, okay, the one, I can say the girl, I can say the woman, yes. Uh, if that is plural, plural, I can say the ones, uh, the people, yes, I can say the boy, uh, what else, I can say the gentleman, oh, who's your brother? Oh, uh, my brother is that gentleman on, I don't know, wearing black shoes. I don't know. Maybe yes. So this is one way that we can... Marcos, thank you. Sorry, sería como información complementaria al describir una persona. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Entonces, a los participles se le llaman los que son como verbos con ing. Right? We have playing. Right? Uh... We have drinking. Tenemos un montón de verbs, right? Que podemos, we can use para es, right? Ahora, si usted lo traduce, cuando usted lo traduce, no, no diga, oh, es la persona jugando, right? O la persona, pues, comiendo, right? En ese contexto, usted lo va a traducir, oh, is the woman, pues, que viste, right? Sí. O es la persona que está hablando. Yes. O es la persona que está tomando. Yes. Right? Um, para the end, en la estructura no es como un present continuous. Yes. No es como está tomando. You know what I mean? Yes. It's not like, oh, she is drinking. That is something else. Yes. Aquí no tenemos el verb to be. Si lo tenemos acá, is here, pero en el contest, ok. It's not the case. Porque está separado por esta cosa. Yes. Right. Here also we have the same. Aquí tenemos, estos son nouns, nouns, ok. Y aquí lo único que tenemos es una preposition. Con las prepositions is easier, Jesus Christ, because las prepositions nos podemos utilizar with, in, next, on. Yes. Si usted sabe para qué sirve cada una de las prepositions, well, so you can use them in context, right? She's the woman with long black hair. Uh, oh, who's your brother? Oh, um, he's the one in shorts. He's the one on the sofa, let's say. Yeah. He's the one between Andrea and Carlos. Yeah. Oh, who's your mother? Oh, she's the tall one. She's the tall one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Close to the window. Yes. We can use different prepositions. Tenemos varias prepositions in English. So you can use uh, all of them. And then you can add something else. So you can give more details about this, this person. Right? Because the idea is I'm asking you, digamos, y la persona está like in a distance, right? in a distance, in a group of people, and you need to say, oh, you need to give details about this person so I can recognize, 
uh, someone. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahora, um, I think the difficult part is con los particles. Ah, eso es con los participles. Con los participles. That is the difficult one here. Because not all of them are used for this one. With the prepositions, I think those are quite simple because we have prepositions, right? And we, we use them. Uh, not all of them based on the context, but I think the difficult part is here. Page. So that's why we're going to have these examples. Write the conversation. Use the words for in parentheses. Mire, vamos a utilizar esto. One or once. Who's Carla? Which one is Carla? So we are going to make Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to rewrite the conversation. Okay? Okay, let's begin with number two. What is in number two? It says, she's the woman in the red dress. Okay, so I can start. She's, oh my gosh. She's the woman. Okay, and I'm going to use the verb that is in parentheses or the information that is in parentheses. Jesus, I said a verb. It's not a verb, it's the adjective, I'm sorry. Uh, the adjective that is in parentheses, right? So she's the woman. Wearing. Exactly. Wearing. The red dress. Mm, the red dress, yes, very good. The red dress. Okay, so let me let me let me have it here. Oh, it's too much. Yes, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, she's the woman wearing the red dress. Very good. We have question number. Well, conversation number two. Vamos a reescribir. We're going to rewrite the question. The question, as you may see here, is the following. Who are your neighborhoods? Yes. Vamos a utilizar one or ones? Uh -huh. Ones. Oh, okay, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Which ones Which are, one your are your neighborhoods? Beautiful. Which ones? Are your neighbors? Neighbors, right? Yes, very good. Okay, entonces, reescribo la sentence, la question, who are your neighbors? Which ones are your neighbors? If you notice the same question using different vocabulary, let's say, right? Just at the beginning. Okay, which ones? And who are? Yes. Who is directly, if you notice why? Uh, which ones are your neighbors? Very good. What is the answer? Ah, oh, this one is good. Uh huh. There. Uh huh. The ones. Okay. The ones. With the baby. With the baby. Oh, give me a minute. No, we don't have. We need to use this adjective uh, here. They are the ones. Walking with the baby. Walking with the baby. Exactly. Right. So when it comes to communicate details about people, we have different options. Right here we have these objects, as you may see, right? Which ones are your neighbors? They're the ones walking. Okay. Yeah. Creo que cometí un error. Le puse letter E. It's with the baby. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. I'm sorry. Number <laughs> three. Who's Jeff? Oh, this one is quite easy. Uh-huh. What is this? Which what is this? Which one is Jeff? Oh, okay, very good. Which one is Jeff? Jeff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
He is the one wearing glasses. Okay, very good. Is the one where oh yes. Oh wearing glasses. Okay. Thank you so much. I think number one also we can change it because it's which one is Carla? Oh she's it's not the woman, she's the one. Let me change this one. Because here solo una. Yes, very good. It is. Okay, so <clears throat> So nos quedaría, uh, she's, she's um, the one wearing uh, the red um, dress. Oh, Jesus. The red dress. Okay. So if, uh, like, the idea with this one is, like, to have a different option. If you see here, we're using one and ones, we can use which. Cuando utilizamos which, is you notice, right? We can use this one and ones. Which one? Which ones, if that is plural. Um, and if we want to go straight with the question word who, we are going to use the word to be, right? Who's Carla? Who are your neighbors? Who's Jeff? So at the end, at the end, well, it's up to you the way you are going to make a question. Yeah. So here the idea is to give you the options when it comes uh, asking about somebody. Yes. And also when you answer, you can answer, oh, she's the woman with the preposition in the red dress with the baby. Oh, this one is normal, right? Oh, creo que aquí me equivoqué. I'm sorry. Let's give me a minute. Yes. See, it's with. Yes, I'm sorry. I did a mistake here. Um, yeah. Um, he's the one with glasses, right? Yes, I'm sorry. Did a mistake. Oh. Jesus. Okay. So, if you notice, we can use prepositions, yeah, when it comes to communicate. And also, we can use adjectives, like this structure. But yeah. So, at the end, it's like, it's up to you. Uh, like, use the option that fits better for you. Uh, which one usually is, like, a little bit more complicated than the first one, which is whose. Yeah. And also, when it comes to communicate, uh, the first option is easier, the ones with prepositions, okay? Yes, any question about this? Any question? No. It's teacher, like... in a bit, she's the woman, agregó la S, and después de la S. Oh, es correcto, sí. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Agregué la letter E, right? Yes, agregó una letter E. Thank you so much. Very good. Aquí. Aquí, right here. Here. No, esta no. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, my mistake. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. So, yes, she's the one wearing. Okay. The ones. When it comes to the ones. Thank you so much. Very good. Wonderful. Let me stop it here. Let's see. Jesus, how fast the time goes. Yeah, time flies. Time flies. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to take the attendance. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. Thursday. Here we go. Thank you. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Present. Thank you. Welcome. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Thank you, Briseida. Good evening. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. 
Present. Good evening. Ever is Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you, Ever. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Edwin Benjamin Sánchez Portillo. Let me check if Edwin is here. Edwin, Edwin. Okay, let me check. Edwin, no, he isn't. Okay, he isn't here. What about Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz? Present teacher. Good evening, nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Pascarillo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Good evening. Eliana Mariel Alvarado Menquivar. Thank you so much for being here, Eliana. And I hope you get well soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Janie, are you here? Oh, Janie, she usually here. Let me check really quick. Oh, yes, she's here, but she's busy probably. Thank you so much. Okay, let's Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Jose Alcides. Let me check Jose. Oh, Jose Alcides is here also, but he's busy probably. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening. Present. Thank you so much. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maria. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Okay, let me check Milena here. She's usually here, but oh yes, she's here. Thank oh, you. Me no me mencionó, profe. Oh, excuse me, what's your name? Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Jorge. Okay, Jorge Mauricio, sí lo mencioné, creo que. Okay, Jorge, thank you, Jorge. Ahorita le tomo la asistencia. Thank you so much. Very okay, good. Gracias. Eh, Ronald Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Hello, Sandra. Let me check. Sandra is here. Oh, because sometimes she's busy. Sandra. Okay, Sandra. Thank you so much. Very good. Eh, Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. And Jenny Marisol Present. Hernández de Guevara. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're going to keep practicing on this thing that is called. Okay. Thank you. Let's take a look of these ones. Okay. Oh, what is that? What is soon? Here we go. Okay, so here we have. Uh, oh, give me a. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my gosh, something happened, and I don't know what is that. Okay, let me get one here. Ronald, Rafael. Hello, Ronald. Can you participate? Yes. Yes, to sure. Perfect. Do me a favor. Look at the picture, please. Tell me, what do you see in the picture? Los muebles que tenía ahora para estacionar eran así, ve. Atrás, mira, del carro de atrás lo quedé así, ve. Así. Okay, Ronald. Tell me, please, Ronald. What do you see in the picture? Where are they? Where are they? In the coffee? In the coffee? Oh, in, in a cafeteria? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Uh oh, what are what are Kate and Lauren doing, Ronald? 
Okay, uh, is eighteen pizza. Okay, what about Charles and Natalie? And is playing, is playing, playing, and dama no address. Okay, very good. What about Eduardo played... Jenny? Thank you, Ronald. What about Eduardo, Jennifer, and Ken? Uh, uh, Ronald, what are they doing? And it's conversation okay. between. So, so they are having a conversation. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. And where are Charles and Natalie, Ronald? They are playing. I'm. I'm sorry. Where? Where are Charles and Natalie? We are, and we are. I understand, teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank you so much. Ahorita le ayudamos, okay? So, question for you, um, Daniela. Where are Charles and Natalie? Um, Charles is talking with no, it's playing with, with Natalie. Um, here they are playing. Um. I don't know how to say ajedrez, chess. That is correct. Know. Okay, um, they are playing um, chess. Yeah, but not, not Daniela. The question is, where are they? They are oh. in the table. Oh, very where, good, very good. They? Okay. Sorry. Okay. They are exactly on the table, but what else? Just to give more specific. Mm -hmm. They are in the table between in Jennifer and Kate. In the middle. In the Beautiful, table. Ronald. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. Okay. That is correct, Ronald. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. So, entre más detalles demos, like, where is somebody? That's, that's better. That's better. Yeah. Very good, Ronald. Okay. Thank you so much. So here, if you notice, we are going to use otra vez. Once, once is singular or plural? Anna. Plural. Oh, very good. Plural. Thank you so much. It's plural. And what about one? Singular. Singular. It's singular. Very good, right? So if you notice, we have Charles and Natalie are the ones playing chess. Okay. What about the number two? What's the number two? Mire, behind the couch. Behind Eduardo. the couch. Excuse me? Eduardo. Okay, solo déjeme mover algo. the one behind the couch. Espérame, espérame, déjeme mover algo acá. Okay, very good. Eduardo, okay. Eduardo. Is very good. What else? The one. Very good. The one. Behind the couch. Behind the couch. Very good. You got it. You see? Couch. Very good. This is the way we do it, right? Yes, vamos a ver cómo se ve. Es que si se ve, se va a ver cortado. Si lo pongo acá, ¿cómo lo vende por ahí? ¿Better? Yes. Okay, okay. okay perfect. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Vamos a hacer number three. Jacqueline, please. But just, I have a question. Where is couch? Oh, couch. What do you think is couch? Sofa. El sofa. Very good. Is the same? Is the same. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. It's good. Thank you. So Eduardo is the one behind the couch. Very good. What about number three? Which one is number three? Uh -huh. Kate and Lauren. Are they what?
Era en pizza. You are in mute, teacher. Thank you. Very good. We have Keith and Lauren are the ones eating pizza. Yay, that's very good, right? Beautiful. Thank you. What about number four? Uso en lugar de ir en pizza. Oh, Jesus. What is pesa? It's a, it's a new word. <laughs> Oh, it's, a new... <laughs> it's a new word okay <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i apologize for that one okay what about number four mire on the couch jennifer jennifer on the couch jennifer you tell me is the one okay jennifer. Is the one is oh. oh very good very good jennifer Oh, what is Jennifer with Dublin? Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank is you so the much. Woman. Is the woman on the on couch? On the couch. Very good. Look at this one. Yeah, that is good, right? Yes. So, mire cómo vamos acá. Podemos utilizar one, once. Also, we can use preposition. Okay. Very good. Thank you. What is the next one? Ken is the man. Oh, Ken is the man. Very good. Ken. Wait. Oh, Ken. Este Ken no parece conocido. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> ¿A dónde sale Ken? Ya no me acuerdo. ¿Qué lo he escuchado? Barbie. Oh, yes, in Barbie, the movie. Okay. Okay. It's the man. Uh -huh. What is next? With short black hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. For wedding? With oh. short. With okay. short black hair. Black hair. Very good. Ah, oh, look at this one, right? Esta palabra hair, créame que es una de las más difíciles para escribir. I don't know why, but for me, it's difficult. Ah, oh, look at this one, people. Yay, we did it, right? Okay. I think we did it. Look at this one. Yeah, Eduardo is the one behind the couch. Kate and Lauren. Kate and Lauren are the ones eating pizza. Not pizza, right? Jennifer is the woman on the couch, and Ken is the man with short black hair. Okay? And again, this thing helps us when it comes to communicate. Yeah, with this, when it comes to describing somebody in in a group of people of course right yes uh for example cuando usted hace sus pedidos right ahí on marketplace right queda ahí con la señorita excuse me we will see you at seven okay in el mall right y empieza okay what are you wearing uh-huh <laughs> yes y describe la backpack and stuff like that okay yeah it's very good can i manage yes let's work with the next one Okay, okay me, let me, voy a mover esto para acá. Okay, thank you. Claudia, read the instructions and the information in the box, please. Okay. Um, rewrite the conversations. Find another way to say the sentences using the words in the box. Near, sitting, wearing, which, who, and who. Very good. Okay. So we are going to like rewrite the conversation, like in the exercise before. Who's Lucas? Which one's Lucas? Oh, mira, cute. Contraction, verb to be. I love it. He's the guy next to the window. He's the guy near the window. Okay. Number two, which ones are the servers? What is the, what is the sentence here? Uh -huh. Remember that you, you can use this vocabulary from here. Yes.
Yes. Mm -hmm. Marcos, what do you think? Freddy? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Freddy. <laughs> Hello. Good, Good evening. Okay. <laughs> Um, which yeah. one are the servers? Mm, uh -huh. The verb server, uh, the servir. And yes, no. pero es, es la profession. Yeah. Es la profession. Um, es el job. Okay. It's, it's job. Entonces, which uh, word I can use instead of which from here? Uh, which which one? Um. I need to change which. Mm -hmm. Which? Who? Oh, very good, Marcos. Who? Who? Near. Okay, who? What is next? Oh, very good. Where to be? Are? The servers. Very good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the service, right? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hago acá? Es cambio, right? Aquí tengo which ones. Yes. Ahora, otra forma de decir lo mismo es utilizando who are. Who are the servers? Which ones are the servers, right? Yes. Yeah. Al, fi al final es la misma sentence. However, siempre... Esta es más directa, ¿vale? Right? Who are the servers, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, yo puedo decir, who are the servers? Y luego puedo contestar, they're the ones in the red polo shirt. How do I write so this one, but different? Mm -hmm. They're wearing the red polo shirts. Okay. They wearing. Oh, they remain. Mm. Which one? Wearing? Oh, yes, porque si le ponemos they're wearing, ahí nos cambia, right? Uh -huh. yes. They remain wearing. Okay, the man wearing, ahí, very good. The red shirts. Yeah, very good. Okay. Yes, very good. That makes sense, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, let us know. The idea with this one is que no caigamos en usar el present continuous. Yes, right? Por eso ella yeah. le puso esto aquí, right? Yes, porque si ella no le pone esto, dice, they're wearing the red polo shirt. Yes, y ahí es present continuous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ahora, la wearing idea... Que no, perdón, eh, wearing que no es primero E, eh, A. Ah. Yes. Oh. Sí, oh, pero te está jugando allí. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> Cuando cometa sus detallitos, avísenme. Let me know. Very good. Entonces... The idea here is que no quedamos en usar el present continuous because that's not the context, right? The context is to say an adjective that goes related to the person, right? They're the man, they're the man wearing the red polo shirt. Beautiful. Maria Vilma Cortez, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, ya casi pagan, right? Aguante, right? Aguante, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, exactly. Ayúdeme con la next one. This one. Which one is Noemi? ¿Cómo cambio este which one? Utilizando one of these ones, right? Yes. Este ya lo ocupé. Yeah. And also this one. Solo me quedan two. Sitting and who. Okay. Um, was are. Oh, who are or who is? Uh, sorry. 
Who are ah. or who is? Who is teacher? Oh, very good. Who is? Who is uh, Naomi? Oh, Naomi. You could que say Naomi. Okay, Naomi. Okay. Naomi. Okay, very good. Yes. Mire. Who is Naomi, right? What is the answer? Yes. Alguien que le ayude, please. Uh, Maria Vilma. Thank you. Somebody. She's the one on the couch next to Lisa. Oh, my gosh. This one is easy. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Somebody? She. She's the woman. She's the woman. Very good. She's. Oopsie. She's the woman. Okay. Oh, yes. The cat. Next to Lisa. Yes. Next to Lisa. Perfect. Next. Next to Lisa. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lisa. Oh, look at this one, right? Yes. Very good. Very good. She's the woman sitting next to Lisa. Yes. And this is the way we can talk about somebody or give details about somebody so we can identify this person based on the information you give us. Yes. Right. So this is like, yeah. This is the way we do it. We can use which one that is singular. We can use which ones is that is plural. We can use who, okay? Uh, also, no se olvide agregar esto de acá, right? Cuando vayan a ocupar esto, por ejemplo, sitting, wearing, no se les olvide agregar este complement here, yeah? Yeah, so you, so you can use it grammatically, correct? Yes, right? Ahora, usted puede contestar de different ways. You can say, oh, yeah. Who are the servers? The servers are the ones wearing polo t shirt right? So at the end, it's, it doesn't matter, right? So the idea is that you can have different options to communicate or to describe people. Yes, that is the idea here, okay? Uh, let me show you something else. Give me a minute. Here we have this one. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Sandra Noemi, we have, she used the correct responses. Who's Sean? The middle-aged man on the couch. So we have two options. Sandra Noemi, Pimentel. Number two, where's Samantha? What is the correct option? Sandra, hello, hello. No, okay. Jorge, thank you, Jorge. Number two, where's Samantha? What is the correct option? I like to meet her. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yes. She couldn't. She couldn't make it. Okay. Yes. Where's Where's Samantha? Do you understand the question? Yes. Okay, very good. So, she couldn't make it. Yes, es como que yo vaya llegando a la party, right? Y me preguntan, hey, ¿y la Samantha vos? Right? Where's Samantha, right? Y yo digo, ah, oh, no, I'm sorry. She couldn't make it. No vino, right? Yeah. No, no vino. Yeah. She's busy, right? Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, Juan, hello, Juan. Is Juan here? Juan, Juan? No? Okay. Jose Alcides, number three, Jose Alcides. Is Avery, I'm sorry, is Avery, I'm sorry, is Avery the one wearing glasses? Jose Alcides? Hello, Jose Alcides? No? Okay. Um, what about you, Blanca? Blanca Solina, number three. Is Avery the one wearing glasses? That's ring. That's right. That is correct. Very good. That's right. Yeah, that is correct. Wonderful. Beautiful. 
And Santos, the last one is for you. How tall is she? Santos, how tall is she? No, Santos? Okay. Jenny Marisol? Oh. Jenny Marisol? No. Pretty short, teacher. Oh, that is correct. That is correct. Pretty short. Yes, right? Pretty short because it's about height. Right, it's about height. Okay, so this is the way we talk about describing people. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your effort. Don't forget to keep practicing. Okay, practice at home. Be nice and be kind. Enjoy your weekend. Be happy and see you next next Monday. Take care. Bye bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Great job, all of you. Thank you so much. You do the same.